Hello there! Did you know that mushrooms aren't plants, nor are they vegetables? Believe it or not, they are more closely related to humans. Mushrooms are magical and I was inspired to create a magical blue mushroom costume and I wanted to share how I did it. So let's get started and I hope you all enjoy. I'm going to start with a mushroom hat. For this DIY, I used an 18 inch straw hat. I got some beautiful blue fabric. I used blue velvet and iridescent sheer fabric for the top and white ivory cotton fabric for the mushroom gills underneath. Lace and beaded trim for the rim of the hat. Fabric glue, hot glue gun, stapler. Ignore the stitch tape. I didn't end up using it. Cardboard box and a box cutter. So the hat will serve as the perfect base for the mushroom hat, but we need to create a cap shape on top. I'm going to do that by drawing strips onto the cardboard box. I made them uh, half an inch wide and 21 inches in length. I made about six or seven of them. Then I staple them to the top of the hat and this will create the little dome shape. Once the strips are all cut out, I went ahead and stapled six strips to the top of the hat, creating a dome-like shape. Let's cut out some batting. I went ahead and cut out a circle of white felt about 19 inches in diameter, flipped over the hat and cut out an opening for my head. Once that was done, I hot glued it all to the hat. This will hide the strips underneath and create a nice, smooth and soft surface for the gills of the mushroom we will be creating a little bit later. I also went ahead and hot glued the remaining flap of the white felt to the top of the hat. For the gills, honestly, I have no idea what I was doing here. I was just kind of winging it. I used this fabric I found last minute and I thought it was perfect because it has ribbed and crinkle-like texture on it. If I figure out the name of it, I will leave it in description, but I used one yard of this fabric and I cut out multiple strips of it. I didn't even measure the length, but I then fabric glue them underneath the brim of the hat. I started scrunching the fabric inward using an overlapping method, kind of like, I don't know, to mimic cute little mushroom gills. Hopefully the visuals are easy to follow. <laughs> If you have any flaps left over from the mushroom gills, you can go ahead and uh, fabric glue it to the top of the hat. Now we're gonna stuff it up. So I got some batting and I'm just going to use as much as possible and stuff it on the inside of my hat. So this is going to help keep the shape of the dome. And yeah, it should look a little like that. <laughs> Now I'm going to cut out a circle of batting that is slightly smaller than the diameter of the top of the hat. Then I'm going to hot glue it to the top of the cardboard strips. This will just be extra padding for laying down the pretty blue fabric that we're going to be doing next. I'm so excited for this part because I'm using this pretty blue fabric. I got about one yard of it and I didn't even have to use it all but I'm just cutting a circle of fabric out about 19 inches in diameter and I will be fabric gluing it to the top of the white batting. And then I'm gonna fabric glue it to the rim of the hat all the way around. And look how it's coming together, so cute. Then I'm just going to cut off any of the extra blue fabric that is um, not needed. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this fabric though, wait, you, you gotta see it again. This fabric though, it's beautiful. It's an iridescent mesh fabric and when I saw it, I knew I had to use it to make a magical mushroom. I ended up using it on the top of the blue fabric. I cut out a circle about 19 inches in diameter and fabric glued it to the rim of the hat. I didn't want to glue it on top of the blue fabric, uh, the blue velvet fabric because it's mesh. So the glue would show through and it would probably mess it all up and it wouldn't look as cute. So the rim is key for this fabric and it's going to gather up and look so cute once it's all done. I love it. 
Now for the trim, I'm going to add two different trims on the mushroom hat and I'm going to fabric glue them to the rim of the hat all the way around. First I'm starting with this pretty shimmery white lace. I had to use pins to hold the lace in place and fabric glue it as I go. Then I just went ahead and added the pretty beaded lace on top of the shimmery white lace that I just placed down. Unfortunately, it didn't wrap all the way around because I didn't get enough of the trims. It was kind of expensive and I didn't want to pay for two yards uh, each of the trim. So there is a space in the back of my mushroom hat with no trim. It's a little empty, but it's okay because I mean, nobody sees the back of the hat anyways, really, right? <laughs> Now for the cute little spots on the mushroom hat, I used white felt that was left over from the batting. I went ahead and drew little wavy trippy shapes all over it. I didn't really want the spots to be perfect. I wanted something a little bit more fun and organic looking. Once I was done drawing them, I went ahead and cut them all out and glued them to the top of the mushroom hat. Then for some added spice, I went ahead and added some embellishments like rhinestones and these flat back iridescent pearls that I had lying around. There are two different sizes, a larger size and a smaller size and I just went ahead and glued them on the spots on the iridescent blue fabric and I just sprinkled them wherever I thought it would look really really pretty. I cut a strip of white felt and I fabric glued it to the inside of the hat along the edge of the gills of the mushroom. If you have any extra fabric after that, you can just cut it off. Let's create some magic mushroom makeup. I'm going to start with covering my beautiful dark circles. They are truly a gift. <laughs> And then I'm going to go in with some eyeshadow primer. I'm using Anastasia primer. Uh, everything will be listed in the description, by the way. I'm also going to bring it onto the outer part of my eye and temples because I will be adding some eyeshadow there. I'm going to be using this color palette called Your Dreamy by Colourpop and I'll be using the greens and blues from the palette. I'm going to start with this cornflower blue. I think it matches perfectly. It's actually called Lost and Found and I'll be focusing it on the corner of my eye and blending it outward into my temples. I want it to act more like my skin color since I'm a little mushroom and I want the little mushroom spots to kind of look like freckles. Then with Muscle Beach, I'm going to focus it on the inner corner of my eyelid and blend it out a bit. Then once I'm done with that, I'm going to go in with a neutral shade for the center of my eyelid and just give it a kind of like a halo effect to create some highlight. Now I'm just going to go over the blue eyeshadow that is on the outer corner of my temples with some blue duochrome shimmer. I'm going to do the same for the inner corner of my eyes with a green duochrome. Then I decided I was going to glue some of the white iridescent pearls I used for my costume onto my face as the spots for the mushroom instead of drawing on a whole bunch of them. I honestly wasn't sure how it would look. I was a bit worried I'd mess up <laughs> the look, but I think it came out pretty cute once everything was all together. I am just applying all these pearls with basic eyelash glue. I just dab it where I want it and then I just place the pearl on top and then I went ahead and started adding some rhinestones along with the pearls because I mean who doesn't want to be a sparkly mushroom okay I'm a magic mushroom I got I got I got a sparkle <laughs> but I think overall um, the different dimension with the rhinestone and the pearls came out chef's kiss I then added some blue eyeshadow to the tip of my nose. I was laughing because I didn't feel I looked like a mushroom at that point. I think it's because most of the mushrooms I've seen are red and I haven't really seen a blue one so it was kind of hard for me to visualize it. I then decided to draw on little white spots on my nose with some white water activated eyeliner. 
Then I decided to go ahead and add some little white detailed spots to the pearls and rhinestones that were on the side of my face. And then I even added some little white spots to the inner corner of my eye as well. And I think that really brought the look together and made it look a little bit more whimsical and uh, mushroom-like. All that was left was just some eyeliner, eyelashes, and some lipstick. I used a peachy color for my lips. And then I was done. finish off the look, I added a short pastel blue wig that I am living for. I'm, I wish I could cut my hair this short and dye it pastel blue. I wore this white, lacy, ruffled, puff sleeve, cottagecore dress um, from Eleven Lemons. And then I paired it with this really cute white harness. I wanted to dye it pastel blue, but I didn't have time. And then I wore my crystal fishnet stockings that I DIY'd like five years ago. And my baby doll white heels. This costume came out so cute, better than expected. The hat, the colors, the hair, the makeup, everything just came together perfectly. And I am living out my mushroom girl cottage core dreams. <laughs> Let me know what you think about the costume down in the comment section below. And uh, yeah, don't forget to tell me what you're going to be for Halloween. I would love to know. But other than that, thank you all for watching. And I will see you all in a brand new video very, very soon.